Welcome to the wild southwest, friend. I hope you pack some sunscreen and a high-powered scope, because you're going to need them both out here. These southwestern plains are hot and dry. Trees and vegetation are sparse in most places. Food and water are scarce, so the game tends to gather in places where they can find one or both. The flat terrain and lack of cover means the animals are easier to spot. On the other hand, it's just as easy for them to spot you. This leg of the tour will put your long-range marksmanship to the test. Remember to keep your eye on the wind gauge. Out here, the breezes blow hot and wild. You'll need to watch for changes in the weather and adapt your plan to shifting conditions. Great. <laughs> Just what we needed. So what are we hunting here, anyway? Looks like we've got mule deer. Uh, prong horns. And just looks like mule deer and pronghorn are the only two that we're going to have here today. Alright, sweet. Perfect. Well, let's start with pronghorn, shall we? It looks like we need a 270 bolt action rifle for one of these guys. 270 bolt action it is. Um, let's go with... Hmm... I guess we'll stick with the uh, 270 hollow points. Why not? And then we'll do some... Well, we don't have any other calls. So I guess we'll have to stick with... Nothing. I guess we'll stick with hollow point. Or more hollow points then. Because pronghorn, there's no, there's, no, uh, there's no call for a pronghorn. So we got to hunt one pronghorn with a rifle. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, look at the heat waves on the ground out here. Holy cow. And the cactus. Wow, the detail in the cactus is amazing. Ugh, this heat. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this map. Where the heck are we? Oh, there we are, way down here. Alright, so let's go check out their bedding area. Looks like they might be up here bedding around this time of day. Wow. My boots are uh, echoing through this valley. It's so dry and nasty out here. Great. I hear snakes. Why does it always have to be snakes? Gosh, this place is uh, very interesting. Alright, so there's nothing this way. So they possibly could even be eating or grazing. It says they would be grazing right here, so they're obviously not here. So let's try maybe them grazing back over this way. I don't know, this play the graphics in this game are really, really phenomenal. I gotta give it to them. Graphics are great. The sounds, the ambient noises, just the random, random animal just chilling there staring at me. Oh, what's up there, fellas? Oh, now you want to fly away. Wow, I'm not picking up any noises on any of these guys here. Okay, well, let's keep heading up north then and... 
See if there's anything over this way. About 190 meters or so away from another bedding location where they might be. Oh. I think we got something up here, guys. There we go. That looks like a female, so we do have a pronghorn male. Is that another female? Oh, it's two females. Okay. Is there a male anywhere in there? Okay, so we got two females here. Wow, the draw distance is crazy. You can see stuff for days here. So that's two females. Oh, there we go, guys. Pronghorn female, female, and a female. Okay, so where in the heck are the males? Watch the wind. You don't want to be caught flat-footed if you're suddenly upwind of the animals. These things are grazing everywhere, but my goodness, there's no male. Another female. What the heck, man? We're running out of time. I can't find a male anywhere. Oh, we got something behind the rock here. That's another female. Gosh dang. Kind of getting hosed here, guys. We're, it's all females. Hunt one pronghorn with a rifle. Okay. That's nice, but where's all the mail? They're gonna have like these short stubby little horns that look like goats on them. I'm just not seeing that. Oh my god, another female. Aha! I don't know where the organs are on this guy. I'm assuming it's the same. Ooh. Right lung. Clean through. Left lung. Nice. He's going down. Clean kill. Double lung shot. Excellent shot placement. Won't go far. Yeah, he's already slowing down right there. <laughs> and then the thud. That was actually kind of difficult, guys. Finding that one male in the group of like 30 females. I like how you, I can see the blood much easier here than the forest areas. There we go. Finally. Holy cow, that was a chore. Just to find that one guy, my goodness. 
What is this one here? A recurve bow with a 450 grain broadhead. Okay, okay, they're giving me a little bit of a challenge. Recurve bow, 450 grain broadhead. Yeah, we got this. Hunt one six plus inch horn prong horn with a bow. So we gotta find a six plus. Oh, we've already got movement up here, guys. And we're downwind. Or upwind. Ooh. We've already got our buddy right there, actually. That's actually pretty nice. So we need a six plus inch pronghorn. He's right there in front of us. I'm going to try and hook around to the left of him and get close to this rock here. That way I can get a little bit better of a shot. Because we need to get close. I like to I feel comfortable getting at least 50 yards or so from these animals when having to use a bow. Alright, let's take a look here. So we're about twenty-two yards from him. 60 yards from him. Oh, he might just walk right out in the open for us right here. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's going to stop, and that female's probably like right there, too. Yeah. Oh, she's looking at me. Let's back off just a little bit. She was looking over this way. She's still looking over here. Yeah, she's still looking over here. Oh, <gasps> there he is. That is a really long shot. <sighs> ah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was like wicked close. I think we've got another one walking like right up on us here, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm like right in the middle of a freaking pack right now. Yep, she saw me. That's okay. She at least spooked, but I think this guy's still good up here. Yeah, he didn't get spooked. Okay, that's good. Change 
changes in the wind direction can ruin your hunt if you're not paying attention and staying downwind from your quarry. Perfect. The wind went in my favor. That's just what I needed. Okay, it looks like the female went around the left side of this rock here. Our big boy should be right here. There he is right there. Maybe I can get up in this stand right here and track him. Not track him, but shoot him. There's no I'm tracking him already. <laughs> oh god. Was I seeing things or was he looking this way? No, he's looking this way. Please let that work. Oh, left lung. Nice. Oh, snap. Double lung shot. Excellent shot placement. Won't go far. That was a hell of a shot there. Down he goes, right there. Too much hunting here recently. You should try your luck somewhere else. Let this spot cool down. Hey, that's all I need is this guy right here. Look at that beautiful arrow shot. Amazing. Very nice. I'll take it. I'll take shots like that all day long. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed hunting some pronghorn with me. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.